Talk to us about the pay me in Bitcoin feature that Strike has rolled out. How does this work and why are people using it? It works just like a direct deposit product is that when you line up your paycheck, you can go to JP Morgan Chase Bank, you could go to Chime, you could go to Strike. And Strike allows you to toggle and convert any percentage of your paycheck into Bitcoin so that the salary that you earn from working a wage can be paid in half dollars, half Bitcoin, 75% Bitcoin, 25% dollars, 100% Bitcoin. And the point in that is that saving accounts are dead. It costs more for a bank to custody your dollars than they'll give you yield. So how do you save money? And can you get paid in commercial real estate? Can you get paid in precious metal gold bars? And we wanted a product for the individual consumer to say, hey, I want to save my non-working capital in Bitcoin because it's the best savings technology of all time. Uh, and that's it. It's really dead simple. You hand your form to your employer. And uh, from then on out for the rest of eternity, you can get paid in Bitcoin, whatever percentage you want. Now, Mayor, you obviously got into a, uh, a little competition a good competition in my opinion, where you said that you were gonna take your next paycheck in Bitcoin. And then the mayor elect in New York City said, oh yeah, you're gonna do one, I'm gonna do three. And then I think you've come back over the top with, I'm gonna take all of my paychecks in Bitcoin. So talk to us a little bit about getting paid in Bitcoin, how you think about it personally, and then also the potential to eventually do this with other people within the city's uh, employee base. Yeah, so first of all, you know, a while back, uh, you know, I pledged that I wanted to allow my employees to get paid in Bitcoin, uh, allow our uh, residents to be able to pay for fees and taxes in Bitcoin, which we're still working on, and then eventually potentially hold Bitcoin on our balance sheet. So we've accomplished step one already. Uh, our CIO, Mike Sarasti, was the first uh, City of Miami employee to use Stripe and to be able to get paid in Bitcoin. Um, I, I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta follow him. I gotta, you know, uh, like Jack would say, you gotta lead by example. And, uh, you know, and so I, I decided to do it. And then of course, Eric Adams, uh, I think the mayor of Tampa, uh, the mayor of Jacksonville, uh, I think uh, uh, Jack was telling me he's up to six mayors already uh, across the United States are taking uh, either all or some, or some percentage in, in Bitcoin, their salaries. You know, when I started talking about uh, Bitcoin, in terms of uh, you know, in terms of paying our employees a percentage or whatever they want to, like like Jack said, it can be whatever whatever they want, right? You, you know, Bitcoin I think was like at forty thousand, so you know it's gone up fifty percent. Uh, you know, people talk a lot about the volatility, particularly people that don't like Bitcoin for whatever reason. They like to talk about the volatility, but they don't talk about the year over year gains, which is crazy. I don't understand how they can talk about one thing without the other, which is really the more relevant statistic, right? And so uh, you know, it, it, it's amazing, and and with inflation certainly being underreported, as we all know, um, you know, it's, a, it's an important hedge uh, and, and it's becoming the base currency for many, many people. Jack, when you think about uh, folks getting paid in Bitcoin, this obviously serves as a, kind of a de facto uh, dollar cost averaging, right? Every, every week, uh, every other week, every month, whenever I get paid, I'm just converting into Bitcoin. Talk a little bit about the power of that and, and why that's so important. Yeah. Well, first, I didn't say happy Thanksgiving. I'm on this show thankful as fuck right now. The mayor, the man and the Pomp brothers. I hope everyone's having a good holiday. Um, yeah. All right. So let's go on a little bit of a rant. Um, inflation, six uh, percent, according to the CPI. Uh, but housing is my favorite metric um, because everyone needs a roof over their head to live. Uh, Twenty four and a half percent in the United States. So let me put this abundantly clear and not in uh, word salad speak. If you watching this are not getting a 25% raise every single year, housing is getting more expensive than you are earning income. So you are not making progress towards owning a home. Okay. That's a huge problem. How many of you, your family, your friends are getting a 25% raise every single year to keep up with how expensive housing is getting. And so are you fucked? No, you just cannot save in dollars. That's a very known thing, whether it's housing, your kids' education, vacation, cars, everything that's a hard asset that's hard to obtain uh, is getting more expensive than you can earn. So you have to change the way you save. And what's very unique about Bitcoin Pomp is it's the most accessible savings technology of all time. Traditionally, you'd have to buy a big chunk of real estate. You'd have to find a way to store gold. You know, maybe the Ken Griffins of the world, the big hedge fund managers, maybe those guys can go get New York City, uh, Manhattan penthouses and store their wealth there. What about me? What about the mayor's employees? What about the everyday individual? Is there an accessible, scarce 
uh, monetary policy that's predictable, that lives external of any central party, that we can even get a penny of our paycheck in. And yes, it's Bitcoin. And so for me, the whole power of the product is that you don't need to convince your CFO. You don't need to work for a special company. You don't need to be a hedge fund manager. This is an asset that works in the best interest of everybody. It has no bias. It doesn't care towards any certain type of wealth class. It is the most fair, free, open savings technology in human history. And so all we're doing is letting you line up your direct deposit and you get to decide what portion of your savings should be allocated towards Bitcoin. But Pump, what if I tried to build a pay me in gold bars product or a pay me in commercial real estate product? Get the fuck out of here. It'd be impossible. The thing's natively digi digital. It's divisible into 100 million pieces. You could store it on your phone. You could store it for yourself. It's an absolute no brainer. And so we've got oh, a dozen mayors. We've got NFL athletes, we've got the biggest musicians in the world, but I also have, you want to know, one of the biggest companies of, of paycheck to our service, Uber. You got guys that are trying to make a living wage and outpace inflation and work their way towards owning a home. And they're driving Uber and a, an ability to save the when the richest in the world, like Michael Saylor makes a buck, the Uber driver makes a buck too. And the Postmates delivery man, right? Everyone is in this together. And so that it was so intuitive to me of um, let's just make this as accessible uh, as possible to the people and allow them to outpace inflation because inflation devastates the poor more than the Ken Griffins in the world. It's really that simple.